In the world of Halloween films, there are okay and sometimes even good movies, but so far nothing has been able to top The Kings. Now, notice how two of these are Tim Burton films. The reason Christmas movies are so much more prevalent than Halloween movies is because it's easy to capture the feelings of Christmas in a kid's movie without having to explain anything. Halloween entails a sense of being scared, so how does that translate to a movie for children? Not like this. Nightmare Before Christmas is a movie you've probably heard of and hopefully seen. It's developed a massive cult following since release, and rightfully so. This movie is fantastic. It's got amazing music, incredible art direction, and a charming story to top it all off. Jack Skellington is an immediately recognizable character with an awesome character design and voice, Oogie Boogie gave me nightmares as a little kid, Sally is an amazing love interest with a satisfying character arc, and everything about this movie oozes creativity. The Corpse's Bride is a pretty unknown movie that's managed to slip under the radar for a lot of people. If you are one of those people, I urge you to stop what you're doing and watch this movie. I think this movie is better than Nightmare Before Christmas, it is that good. Things never go the way you expect, but always in a way that is entertaining and exciting. All the characters you're supposed to like are actually likable and feel grounded in realism. What gets me hooked isn't the music or the art, it's the world. This place is so cool and vibrant, despite being a dead world, it's filled with life and humor. The tragic stakes are perfectly balanced out by a funny skeleton who plays in a band. The story and world building is just absolutely amazing, especially considering the fact you've never heard of this. Don't lie, this is the first time you've ever heard of the corp- Have you guys ever noticed that the superhero movies that are funny turn out to do way better than the ones that take themselves seriously? Tim Burton knew this. Batman and Batman Returns are amazing. Gone are the voice lines that make you want to kill yourself, and in are the voice lines that are actually good. While Batman and Batman Returns aren't movies filled with jokes, they do know exactly what they are and never try to be anything more. Tim Burton executes his movies with a joyous creativity not seen in many other places. He not only makes fantastic films, but has developed an iconic art style that when executed in any other medium, feels like a homage to him, even if it isn't trying to be. Cap Kingdom from Mario Odyssey comes to mind when talking about this. The moonlit sky and the hills filled with fog really makes the level look like something straight out of Nightmare Before Christmas. Tim Burton was one of the best in the business, with his iconic art style, amazing movies, and memorable characters. Tim Burton's legacy will live on long after his last film. The reason this video was extremely, extremely short was because I wanted an excuse to say thank you. Thank you to all my new subscribers, and thank you to my returning peeps. Thank you for putting up with my dumb videos, and thank you for watching this one. To show my appreciation, I'd like to introduce a new segment at the end of my videos. If you guys have any questions or comments of any kind, whether that be video requests, questions about video games, or whether or not I like mustard, and I will answer them in the following video to the best of my abilities. Another thing I wanted to mention real quick is that while I hope my channel is known for its gaming videos, recently my non-video game videos have done extremely well, like my Kelvin and Hobbs video is the top video on my channel. It's, it's done crazy well for my standards. But it was a lot of fun to make that, to write the script, to film it out, and a lot of fun to get all the feedback of people who, um, you know, don't necessarily like video games, but they do like Kelvin and Hobbs. In the future, hopefully, I'm gonna start doing more non-video game videos, maybe stretch out to doing uh, TV and film. Thanks again, everyone. I hope to see you next time, and I hope you guys have some interesting comments for me. Alright, peace out.